when you guys weren't getting along and you were separated for all that time, you guys have such a rich shared history that you were both witness to each other's miracle in life. The idea of writing songs and all that. I would think the painful part of that separation was, oh my God, I can't pick up on and call my brother and go, remember when we did this and remember when we did this and what is your memory of that? That, to me, was the biggest crime of you guys not being together. Chris and I were stuck in this submarine for 24 years, and that's what being in a band is like. And then in order to really process all, everything, because it also takes a long time to process, you know what I mean? <laughs> we're like, still processing. And then you, you get away, and then you can kind of have more of a 10,000-foot view of, of what what I mean, just to, happened to me yeah. it was like a kettle that someone's left on in the kitchen the first like while the like just the the kettle's going and i'm like someone turned the heat down and i, I think that to me <laughs> yeah. that's how i kind of see of course i loved rich but we were in no position you know we needed that break man you know what i mean like it looks ugly on the outside and some of it was most definitely and um Again, you know, we talked about this life, you know, during that time, I went through a lot of changes. I found the love of my life, my wife, Camille, who was like, could bring around so much positivity and, and like leave my negatives. You know, I'm still working on it all the time. Of course, that's what life is. But without taking that kettle off the heat, man, <laughs> you know, like we had to, had to do it for us. Have you two ever had a moment alone where you looked in each other's eyes? And said, "Who farted? Brother, I, brother <laughs> I, no, not farted. Brother, I love you. I love you. You are so important to me. Has that ever happened? Or you guys? I, uh, no. It hasn't. <laughs> no. Why do you think you two make beautiful music together? You don't even have to talk about what you do. You just do it. That's called love. That's a love affair. Why can't you do that with your brother?" I think the reason we write the songs we write is because we don't do that. It's it's the age-old scenario. People... Uh, I thought it was just because we're from the South. We're also from the South. Well, Chris, how would you feel it, if Rich... If Chris... I'm being very serious about this. No, no, I know, I know. It, I really am. How would you feel if Rich looked you in the eyes and said... You're the love of my life. Thank God you're my brother. I love you. What would happen to you if he did I, that? Well, to be honest with you, we we both feel that way. And we do love each other. And we tell each other we love each other. But um, it's kind of like, hey, I love you, brother. Okay, bye. No, no, right? no, no. I know. We, we, we're, we're capable of, of recognizing the depths of our relationship. The thing is, like you said, it's... Uh, the the art part of it the you know our 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 brotherhood for, uh, in reality isn't just being brothers we are songwriters we're performers we have a business to run you know as well yes. and um i don't know we just we we didn't have a very our, it's how you grow up our family we we, you know, we didn't talk about stuff feelings and but <laughs> but i know that rich and i and now more than ever, of course, we 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 love each other and have deep uh, respect. When you guys are on your deathbeds, I don't know who's <laughs> going to go first. I don't have a crystal ball. Rich is most One definitely of, rich. No, rich, no, rich, like, rich. No, right, when Chris, Rich is on his deathbed, who, you're dying first. <laughs> who's dying? It's not me. It's not me. Chris. Chris, if you die first, fight of who is gonna <laughs> who's going to die first? first? Yeah. That's our new split up. Why did they well, they broke up again because they can't decide who's going to pass away first? Yeah, I could see a big fist fight over who's going to die first. <laughs> but but Chris, if you're on that deathbed and you're going to say, I should have looked that guy in the eye. We both know that we love each other very deeply and and we are intertwined in each other's lives to a point I don't know. Madness. When I look at Rich, he, he doesn't look like he's nodding that we both love <laughs> each other very deeply. 